Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in the old graveyard at Ballynoor. And uh, as I say, there used to be an old church here, Mary Magdalene's Church. And of course, across the road, you can see the modern day parish church, which is Christ Church. But the graveyard here actually has a connection with Mark Twain. Believe it or believe it not, the uh, famous writer. And uh, of course, his... Uh, Books were turned into film as well. And the oldest grave that we have here in this graveyard is dated 1626. And it belongs to Eleanor Clements. And she was said to be the ancestor of Samuel Longhorn Clements. And of course, that was Mark Twain. And Mark Twain, of course, was the name he used for writing his books. And he was the author of Huckleberry Finn and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And Clements Hill in Ballyclare, which is not too far from here, is the area of the family home. Now, towards the end of the 17th century, Samuel Clements emigrated to America, and he was the ancestor then, of course, of Samuel Longhorn Clements, or better known as Mark Twain. And uh, Mark Twain, Samuel Clements himself, Longhorn Clements, actually served for a time in the Civil War in the militia. And this is the grave here. So it is so fantastic to have this. Absolutely brilliant. And hopefully you'll be able to see the date down here, which is 1628. Absolutely fantastic. So you mightn't be able to see that, so I'm going to read it out to you. It says, Here left the body of Eleanor, the wife of Edward Clements, and then it goes on a wee bit, and it says, who departed this life, 1628, that's on the 3rd of March, and she was aged 35 years. So this is Mark Twain's ancestor here in Ballynoor in Northern Ireland. So that's fantastic, isn't it? So I'll give you another review of the grave here. I'll just go back out. And of course, I mentioned Jonathan Swift's connection here in another wee video. But that's the, uh, that's the grave to uh, Mark Twain. Mark Twain's ancestor. Fantastic, isn't it? Eleanor Clements. So there you go. So thanks for watching and God bless.